Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time we made our way up Mountain of Woe, and uh, we've been stealing quite a bit of things, such as the big hand that we got last time. Uh, so let's go ahead and put that on Robo. Also, I've changed my party around just a tad to include Marl and Robo. The reason for this. Marl sucks, and I want to give her as many tech points as humanly possible whenever we can fight some easy enemies. Robo's just behind on tech points in general, uh, needing 400 for his next ability, whereas everybody else needs like 200-ish, Isla only needs 100-ish, although I will be switching my party around quite a bit in this area in order to maximize the amount of tech points that I can grab here. So, anyway, let's move right along. And let's make our way over here. Again, make sure that you make a save state. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot of moving around our accessories just like we did last time to put berserkers on our, on our big physical fighters so that we can get as many chances of um, killing these rebels as humanly possible. Even though I showed you this battle last time, I'm going to show it again in this episode just so everyone's aware if you somehow missed last episode and how I deal with these rebels. Um, I have two Berserkers, and, uh, yeah, you get 50% extra attack power, you get extra speed, um, so it should only take two hits to take down a Rubble. If you get a critical hit, then it's gonna take even less. Hey, hey, awesome! So for doing so, we get the 100 tech points. Very, very nice. And again, don't forget that if you have somebody that's, like, close to leveling up their tech points, you can double the amount of tech points. Um, basically, whenever you learn a tech, um, there's a bug in the system so that it, so that it gets applied to that tech that you learned and then the next tech that you learn as well. So, yeah. Lots of really nice enemies around here. If you have money problems, bring Isla along with you because you can charm some good weapons from a lot of the enemies around here. I showed some charming um, last time. So, here we get a Lapis that restores 200 HP for all of your party members. Also, if you don't care about some of the crummy chests around here, you can avoid some of the monsters. Otherwise, monsters are all over the place in here. Another little change that I did was I gave Marl a hit ring. Um, it increases her accuracy rating by 10 points to help against those rubbles as well. Oh wait, you know what? There's actually a treasure over here. And what do we have? A, a barrier. And I actually never took off those berserkers, so let's just use them. Okay, I got them taken care of, so let's move on to the uh, next screen. On this next screen, there is a new enemy. And from this new enemy, we have something new to steal. So let's go ahead and put an Isla. She still has her charm top on. So, very nice, and I guess I need to actually... Wait, are we gonna, like... Are you gonna fight me? There we go. Man, took a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> yeah, I still have the Berserkers on, um... Chrono and Robo, because I feel like... Really, seriously. Come on! I was gonna say, because I feel like, why bother? I'll be able to just kill them and then have Isla steal from them, but... This is my life! Of course, Isla gets confused, then these guys are going to get killed. What a pain in my ass. And we'll have another chance to steal from them. Uh, oh well. Okay, let's go on down through here. And we'll grab a full ether. Why not? And a barrier. Okay, perfect. Let's move on. Okay, there's my next chance to, uh, fight those guys. Oh, 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 a rubble. Um, who do I want in this? I think I want, um, Robo and Marl again. Let me just check on tech points for Robo. Oh, yeah, he's gonna get that doubled. That'll be really nice. Um, okay, Marl's getting close. Let's see. If 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 Isla was if Isla had thirty less, I would put her in depth for her to get doubled. But anyway, make your save state and let's do this. Okay, after that battle, Robo learned Uzi Punch, 
So now he's going for Area Bomb. The nice thing about Area Bomb is that it's actually fire-based damage, and it hits a group of enemies. Robo, you would think of him as like a physical fighter, and he is, but if you pump up his magical stats, like he has the ability to cure, the ability to heal, shadow-based multi-targeting damage, multi-targeting fire damage, like he has a lot of stuff going on with him. That's why I like to give him those magical tabs. And speaking of which, while well, he's in my party, I might as well go ahead and give him some other tabs. Give him a speed tab, and the power tab goes to Chrono. We've had those. I think we got them last time, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, let's see. Marl, she's 44 away from learning Cure 2. That's fine. Um, it's actually time for me to change my party around. Let's take off these Berserkers, because I want... Um, hmm. You know what? You're 44 away. We'll keep you in for right now. And we're just going to take out Robo. And uh, bring in Isla. There we are. So that she can steal these freaking things that I wanted her to steal last time. Pain in my ass. Okay, Isla, you got one chance. Uh, let's see, Isla. There you are. Charm these things. And do not confuse anyone. Please. Damn it. <laughs> oh, come on! Uh, yeah, she doesn't have anything that can your status. I'll just go ahead and use a heal. Oh! And then I used it on the... I'm having issues today. Like, I really am. Hopefully that will get rid of the charm. Okay, perfect. Uh, and Isla has the charm top, too. I guess I could go ahead and use the, um, the twin charm. As long as uh, Marl doesn't get confused or anything. Oh, that works for me. I'm, I'm actually okay with that, Chrono. That's fine. Oh, I wanted to steal this earlier. It would have made my life so much easier. Okay, so let's go with the twin charm. I'll try and... Do not kill them! Come on! Woohoo! Got the pearl edge! Sweet! Okay, yeah. You you can continue on that. He's already confused anyway. Yikes! Okay, that's fine. As long as you're not attacking me. Uh, do you have some multi- Yeah, lightning too. That's multi-target. That works. Because we've got to get rid of these guys. <laughs> Just something, anything. Gotta get rid of them. Uh, you have Ice 2. Ice 2 is multi-target. Use that. Okay. Wow! That was shockingly effective. I was going to say that's not a whole lot of damage, and I'll probably have to do something else, but hey, that worked out for me. Great. Okay, the Pearl Edge. We just got that. Frog, that is an upgrade for his uh, Mazamoon. It's about time you got one. Extra 50% damage against magical-based enemies, so that's really, really nice for him. And for all that trouble, you get a shelter and a shield. Not too hot, but hey, whatever. Moving right along. After that last battle, Morrow learned Cure 2, so she is well ahead of everybody else in their techs. Uh, she's now going to be working on Life 2, which is a full HP restoration and revival spell. Um, but since she is multiple techs ahead of everybody else, I'm not going to worry about her for quite a bit of time. She's gotten everything that she needs, so let's go ahead and uh, put Robo into the party. Because we do have a boss coming up. Um, so let me go ahead and get set up for that while I'm in here. Um, I has the charm top. You have the power glove. Let's go ahead and put on the power ring. Um, Isla, and yeah, charm top is okay. That's fine. Berserker for Robo is shockingly effective, so we'll keep that on. Um, the upcoming boss can do fire as well as shadow-based attacks, which is fine for the black male and the red male. You have the blue male, so we'll give you the red vest. Okay. Um, with all that said and done, I think that we are good to go. Go ahead and use a shelter, if I can find the stupid thing. There it is. Okay, perfect. Not that it's really all that necessary. The next upcoming boss is actually 
surprisingly simple, I've got to say. We get a time hat there. The rainbow helmets that we already have are much better than the time hat, and all the time hat does is prevent the slow and stop statuses. Here we get a magic tap. Let's go ahead and use that on Robo. Even though I'm using him as a physical attacker in this upcoming fight, still having the extra magical based stuff for him is so <clears throat> nice. So what do we have here? It's like Ozzy again? Yeah, the guru of life. Maybe he's sealed in that ice prison. Holy crap! Yikes! For boss time against Giga Gaia himself. So he's gonna open up. There's nothing you can do about it. With the first shadow-based attack and then a fire-based attack. So just wait it out. We'll absorb that. And uh, let's see. Here comes the fire-based attack. And what you want to do is get rid of the hands first. So the easiest way to do that is to use Falcon Hit. It's going to deal roughly 1300 damage, and the hands each have 2000 HP, so just uh, two Falcon hits will get rid of the hands. Then after that, we can go after Giga Gaia. Giga Gaia himself has no real attack, so he's just going to sit there, and Robo is going to continually berserk him to death. Um, now, at this point, Charm, and you are going to be using, where it is, Confuse, okay. The Giga Guy has a speed tab. Hopefully we get that. I kept the charm top on her. Hey, hey, we did. Perfect. So now we can all just wail on the Giga Gaia. He has 9,500 HP, and we should be able to get him down. Uh, rock Throw will not be effective against him, so let's use Cat Attack. Remember, Rock Throw actually throws the monster, but because he's so large, he cannot be thrown. Sabin could suplex a train, but Isla can't throw this guy? Oh well. Yeah, he will eventually restore his arms, um, and then you could go after them with another Falcon hit if you want to. Once they're restored, they only have 1,000 HP, so it'll only take one Falcon hit to get them down. But we're pretty much getting them, honestly. Okay. Uh, here comes the arms. I don't want to risk it. I'll go ahead and use a, um, a falcon hit on the arms just to get rid of them. Really, Robo? The one time that you get a critical hit, you couldn't have actually used it on the head. You have to use it on the stupid arms that I'm getting rid of anyway. Yeah. So if you know what you're doing against this guy, he is a piece of cake. He is nothing. Robo did get that Uzi Punch ability, and you could use that, but it's also very expensive. I think it costs like 12 MP, and uh, he would run out of MP really fast using that. So I think it's just better to Berserk. Let's see, we'll go with a Spin Cut. He's running out of MP as well. Man. He should be just about dead. I'm shocked that he's still alive. There we go. Okay, perfect. I was gonna say. Man. It might be easier to have Robo using an Uzi Punch, and if you don't have the various elemental absorption males, then you might want Robo under your control so that, um... Oh! Learned Beast Toss. So that he can use Heal Beam and other things like that, but I don't think it's all that necessary. Well, we've restored the Guru of Life. Hopefully. Still in that icy prison, though. Maybe light on a fire? Oh, too bad Radio's not here. <gasps> Melchior? You're the Guru of Life? Well, kind of. We met you, but you wouldn't have met us. It's a time paradox. Yeah. Oh. Oh god, so that's what happened to the queen. I guess she's been consumed by greed and everything. The seal has been broken! How's this gonna work? The mountain is... Yeah, it's attached by chains and it's 
floating in the air through the power of magic. I mean, come on. Oh. Oh. Is it just going to fly away? Or is it going to crash into the ocean? Yeah. God, this should cause, like, massive destruction. But everything seems perfectly fine. Oh. Oh, no. So, yeah, even though they're getting the energy from Lavos with the Mammoth Machine, it could cause him to awaken. Oh. Scala came here? Why? Scala's so nice. I like her. I like the music, too. Oh, Janice came, too. Yeah, they just know how to learn magic and all that. And they have blue hair, too. Under Lavos's control. <laughs> Janice is such a bitch. So I guess magic is actually created by Lavos. Scala said the only difference is that they're under Lavos's control. So I guess Lavos grants them magic. I don't know. Oh, good for you! Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go beat a bitch up. Sounds like a plan. Wait, what's going on? Oh shit, it's Dalton. He hates us. What if she doesn't come? What if we protect her? Wow. Wonder how... Well, I mean, he must be really old in the present. Whoa! If he's this old back here in the past. Oh, no. Yeah, leave her alone. What? Really? Seriously? I don't think that you're going to harm a hair on her head. She's the princess, and she controls the power of the mamma machine, and you're just going to kill her at the drop of a hat? I don't think so, asshole. But Skull has been kidnapped nonetheless. Ugh. Yeah, no kidding. How are we going to do that, though? Well, she did say that she opened up the Skyway, so I guess we could go back to Zeal. Hey, we get awesome chrono music. Love it. Yeah, of course we are. Oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we'll be helping you all throughout time. You know, if we met... Melkior way back here. I'm surprised that Melkior didn't, uh, say anything to us about it whenever we met him in the present. Oh, the Dreamstone. Really? Hey, let me get a ruby knife. Awesome. Do you have anything else to say to us? Oh, I think that's kind of cute. Okay. So yeah, Skull has been kidnapped, but can we rescue her? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.